Jessica Take two. Donda. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessica of Miss Moore Style and I'm here today with one of my dear friends, Wendy Jones. Hello. She is a licensed esthetician mm -hmm. here in Los Angeles. I've been going to her for years for my various beauty and skincare needs. And today I came over to get a galvanic facial. So I thought it'd be cool to sort of film the process and sort of tell you guys about the galvanic facial why maybe you should do them and the benefits and all that good stuff so wendy is gonna basically give us the lowdown on all that because she is the expert before we get started i have to say if you have not already subscribed to my channel make sure you hit that little red subscribe button Give me a thumbs up if you enjoy this video and then also leave a comment down below if you know you have another question about this facial that we didn't necessarily answer and I can try to answer them in post. Probably text her and ask her what the answers are if <laughs> exactly. I don't know them. But anyway, I'll try to get all the questions answered that we didn't possibly cover here. Yeah, bring it on. And um, if you're not already, make sure that you follow me on Instagram and you follow Wendy on Instagram. And um, let's just get into this. Yep. Sounds good. Cool. What is the galvanic facial? Galvanic is a low level electrical current and it's used in skincare to penetrate product deep into your skin, which is a great way to do that because electricity can get farther. Your body's a conductor of electricity, so it can get farther into your skin than just putting something on your face and massaging it into your skin. It pulls everything that's on your face before you get wrapped into the facial, which you'll see get wrapped up like a mummy, it's kind of cool. But what it does is it pulls product and anything that's on your skin into your dermis, which is your healthy live tissue, which that, that's the layer of your skin that you want to treat. And the current is a pulsating current. You don't feel that and you don't really feel much. I mean, you've got them, you kind of feel like tink tingly a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you'll, you'll taste, uh, and I'll explain later, but you'll taste metal in your mouth. Sort of like if you ever like put a paper clip in your mouth yeah. or if you had braces. Um, which I did for a long time. <laughs> right. So some people know exactly what that tastes like. Yes. <laughs> um, anyway, but basically, um, what the pulsating current does is it helps tone and tighten your collagen and your elastin. It helps tone and tighten the tissues that are in your skin. And that's really what you want to do. It's sort of, I like to call it the gym for your skin. Let's get those organs going. Yeah. Cause your skin's <laughs> an organ and, um, it's probably the largest organ in your body. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Yeah, it is. I'm Very smart. good. <laughs> I went to UCLA. I have a college degree too. No. Oh, anyway, yeah, that's right. um, <laughs> college graduate. College grad. Yes. <laughs> that's a great way to an anti aging process. It's probably the most non invasive anti aging treatment you can do for your skin. Non invasive meaning, you know, surgery or Botox or, you know, things Nothing like that. Nothing being like actually injected injected into, you. into your skin yeah and since your body is a conductor of electricity it's a great way to get that into your skin and your your dermis is that that layer of your skin that you really want to treat what would you say is like the amount of times because you're saying this sort of like the gym for your skin obviously to make the gym effective you have to go at least like three times a week right it has to be like a regular thing so for this like what do you think is like the suggested amount that is good to do it that it will still be effective. Yeah. Usually I like to say once a month, everybody's life is busy and things like that. You can come uh, every two weeks if you wanted to, um, but once a month is a really attainable goal. And usually most of my clients will, will commit to once a month and or like four to six weeks. It's cumulative, so it layers over itself. So it will continue to teach your skin to function the way that it did when it was younger. Hmm. So when you're in your you know mid to late twenties, that's usually a great time to really start thinking about <laughs> early 30s, uh, early 40s. <laughs> if you do it more often, and that's the time that you really want to do that, because your skin is already functioning as young skin. So you at don't that really point. need to start doing this until you're about like 25, maybe. Yeah, I mean you could, you could come so, you could come a little bit sooner if you want the anti aging benefits of it. It's also a deep pore cleansing facial, so I do extractions, which help clean out all your pores in your skin, whether they're clogged pores or not. Jessica has great skin and I know, right? She has great skin and she doesn't really have like a necessarily oily or acneic skin, but she has oils in every pore. Everyone has oils in all the pores in their face, whether it's clogged or not, but you need to train your skin to function that way. And that's what the extraction process 
um, is I'm doing this because I use my fingers to do extractions. Top of your hands. <laughs> I top of my hands a little. It's definitely something you could do if you had a more problematic skin. But as far as anti-aging, that's usually like a realistic time that I tell people that they should start be um, begin looking at things for you know an anti-aging serum or make sure that they're constantly mo moisturizing and using sunscreen and things like that. So I try to practice what I preach so hard. <laughs> But it's hard, I only have one person that I know that can do the treatment for me. So you'll see why I can't do it to myself. Because <laughs> if I could, I would do it every two weeks. It would be impressive. It would be really impressive. But I do try to do it at least once a month so that I can get the benefits of it as well. But it is definitely something that makes a difference. I have two regular clients that come to me every two weeks and they're about to be, I forget how old they are because I've known them for 10 years and they, pretty much look exactly the same. Like wow. they don't look like they've aged at all. It's crazy. They, that's the goal. That's the that's goal. That's the goal. <laughs> you guys are gonna see, and um, I'm about to look really crazy, kind of like Hannibal Lecter. <laughs> if you wanna see how all this works and the whole process of the treatment, make sure that you keep on watching cause we're about to get started. Okay, so we're gonna get started here. The first thing I'm gonna do is cleanse Jessica's skin. A nice mild cleanser. First portion of the facial is basically for prepping your skin for extractions. Just a little cleanser to kind of get off whatever dirts and oils are on her face. Mm, feels so nice. A little peppermint kind of wakes up the skin a little bit. So I'll just rinse her off here. The next little step is it's gonna exfoliate her skin. I like to use an enzyme exfoliant. Enzymes kind of work like, I like to call Pac-Man, but some people might not know what Pac-Man is. <laughs> the old school video game. Anyway, they kind of look, work like little Pac-Man. Little Pac-Mans that kind of chew on your dead skin cells and kind of clear everything up. A little, a little more on the uh, gentle side rather than a scrub. I do have some scrubs that I do like to use. I'm very picky about those because you want to make sure that those little granules are spherical, that they're not gonna put little micro tears in your skin, so do. So basically what I'm saying is don't you use St. Ives apricot <laughs> body <laughs> scrub on your face. Ooh. Just like to massage this in, let this sit on her face for a little bit, and then I'll put a steamed towel on her. We'll get that process started. Continuing to soften the dirts and oils in her face. I'm going to use a towel that's been soaking in a yucca root and water solution. And yucca is just a root of a flower that Aztec Indians used to use, actually. It's like soap. It's very disinfecting for the skin. It really helps to soften dirts and oils that you don't need, but leaves your good oils because oils are good for your skin. Uh, I know, the steamed towel. You're gonna do anything like this to yourself at home, so I have everything set up and I have things in my tins that are soaking. You can do this, I do this to myself, and I'll just heat up a towel, throw it in the microwave, and I'll just get the towel like nice and hot. If you wanna do it on the stove, you can put a pot of, pot of boiling hot water. You are gonna put it on your face, just rest it. I don't know if you noticed, but I just put the towel on her face. It's gonna help create a little bit of steam underneath the towel into her face. And my next step is putting more cottons. They've been soaking in the yucca root and water solution that's on this towel. And basically, those cottons are gonna help continue to soften dirts and oils in her face. But I use a heat dome rather than steam. Steam you have to be very specific with. It needs to get directly onto your face. With these cottons, the dome, is dry heat that is going to help open her pores from the inside out and me doing this treatment 10 years and as an esthetician this is the i really prefer this mode of softening someone's skin it can seem a little claustrophobic <laughs> if you will <laughs> because your whole face gets covered i'll just keep redoing those steamed towels that process you can just keep repeating steamed towels over and over again. That's a great way to do that to yourself as well. Okay, this is one of her first little wraps that she's gonna get. <laughs> like a little muffy, little mummy. And so here is the heat dome. You know, it looks barbaric and ancient, but it's really great. It's nice and warm in there. She's getting any air that she needs to breathe right out of that little hole in the top. And then I will tuck her in. All that warmth gets 
wrapped in there. And most people, that's the skin's kind of, it doesn't need that long under here, but most people will be under here between like five to 10 minutes. You all tucked in? Yeah. You feel good now? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So we'll be back in like five to 10 minutes. All right. So she's been getting cooked under here for a little while. Next little step that I do in this facial is I am gonna vacuum her face. Not a vacuum strong enough to pull anything out of her skin. The point of the vacuum is just to help generate circulation to the skin, bring oxygen to the skin. Also to bring blood to the surface of the skin is your food supply for your skin. So we'll just turn this guy on. I'm gonna go over her whole face, her neck as well. And she's my tickliest client. <laughs> And it's really funny because she gets really tickly. But you can't forget about your neck. Don't forget about your neck, ladies and gents. I remember to put anti-aging things on your neck, sunscreen on your neck. I'm like that person that still can't get a pedicure because I'm yeah. so ticklish. What's happening is that's what that's we're pulling that blood in her in her system in her face to the surface of her skin, which is going to help nourish all of her skin cells. While I'm doing extractions on her, we're gonna go over her whole face because the same idea with extractions that you have pores all over your whole face. And although I mentioned earlier, if you don't have hogged pores, you deal, but you still have oil in those pores. And so you wanna get those all flushed out. And you want your skin to learn how to purge itself on its own. So that's one of the little training processes as well. Now we're gonna get down to the nitty gritty. Good old extractions. If you are going to an esthetician somewhere, especially during extractions, I personally still like to feel my client's hands, uh, my client's skin under my hands. But during extractions, they should be wrapping their hands, wearing gloves. So here we go, we're gonna get into the process. We'll probably speed, speed through this. Basically, I'm just pinching and pulling her skin. So I'm gonna go over her whole face. A lot of times, you know, you'll have people, um, estheticians that kind of search and destroy. You find something to clean out and then you clean it out and you move on, but then you've forgotten about all the rest of the pores on her face. This is also great. If someone has an acneic skin, they're getting a full deep pore cleansing. Somebody who has more normal to a little bit drier skin, like Jessica, you can, she's getting a little massage into her face right now, which what it's doing is it's helping stimulate her skin and it's helping her produce a little bit more oil, which is definitely still an okay thing. The other reason why it's important for someone else to clean your skin out is because all your pores kind of point down and out on your face. They kind of go out this way. And if you, where I'm sitting, my hands just naturally go that way, down and out. But when you do it to yourself, unless you are a contortionist <laughs> or you are a dancer like me and you can flip your hands upside down and do that, you're probably gonna you're gonna be pushing some of the things that you're trying to get out of your skin back in. So, you know, you're putting pressure on something, things are gonna come out, but the way you're doing it is it's gonna go back up inside. And so that's how things get really red, or they seem infected, or they get scabbed over. Now that's done all her extractions, comes the fun part. I've mixed up anti-aging serum, a little Miss Moore here. Ooh, this hyaluronic acid, I know it's cool. It has hyaluronic acid in it, vitamin C, an anti-aging blend. Why is hyaluronic acid like the thing for anti-aging stuff? Like what's the benefit of it? I always wonder this. Well, hyaluronic acid is a humectant, like a chemical bond with moisture, with like water and hydration. So it's more for hydrating your skin. It's anti-aging. You want your skin to stay hydrated. That's what keep your oil, keeps your oils soft. It helps with fine lines and wrinkles. So if your oils are soft rather than hard, they're gonna stay soft. You know, any lines of expression that you have on your face, the more you smile, the more your face mimics that 
motion where you can have lines on your face. If your skin is dehydrated, then those lines are gonna get dry and your oils aren't gonna flow out of your skin and so they're gonna become deeper and deeper. Hyaluronic acid makes a chemical bond with moisture that's in the air and attaches it to your face. I started using Osmosis skincare about 10 years ago and I love their products because they focus on healing and repairing your skin without harming your skin. It was developed by a doctor who is also a chemist, so it has pharmaceutical grade ingredients that are proven to actually treat your skin. Basically what I've done is I've put this little serum on her face and her neck. Don't forget your neck. So my next process is wrapping her up like a mummy. I'm going to put cottons on her face, soaking in a vitamin and mineral solution. These cottons have been soaking in a vitamin and mineral solution and they need to stay moist throughout the 20 minutes of the mask since moisture is a conductor of electricity. The cottons are all arranged in this mask specifically so the 18 electrodes deliver an even flow of positive current. for the weird part. <laughs> the super weird part. Positive pads on her face. Again, on her neck and chest as well. And then we put a negative one under her shoulder. Turn her on. <laughs> 20 minutes. So like the positive currents are going here and then you have like the negative grounding one underneath my shoulder? Yep. Exactly. Oh my god, I can like already taste the metal. <laughs> so that's it, positive and negative, like old school science pulled towards each other. This is what's gonna basically pull that serum like down into my skin. All the way into her dermis. These cottons have vitamin and, vitamins and minerals on them and they're gonna get pulled into her skin as well. Vitamins are gonna help nourish her skin and the minerals are gonna help heal everything that we cleaned out. Also do have a process where if you have really super acneic skin, you can reverse this. Beginning, you can do a negative mask on her face. If, if Jessica had like really acneic skin, you can do a negative wrap for like five, 10 minutes. I would do extractions and then you do a positive wrap for five, 10 minutes to close her pores back up again. You just switch the poles and they just worked, work opposite as opposed to what they're doing right now. And she gets 20 minutes and I come back out, come back through the facial mask at the end, and I just keep re-wetting her cottons and with more of the positive solution, which is what you wanna keep putting into your skin. More vitamins, more minerals. What manifests uh, the taste of metal in your mouth is minerals basically are like metals, and so they just that's why they have that flavor in, in your mouth. Sometimes you feel a little tingle underneath your shoulder, sometimes you feel it on your face, and most people will be a little flushed Afterwards, you have a little pink in your cheeks, which is nice. I guess we'll see you in 20 minutes. <laughs> Here's the big reveal. We already took the other stuff off. Da da da. Look how glowy. And we didn't even have moisturizer on her yet. Get a little flushed, a little pink. Always good. Spray a little boost spray. Ah, oh, it smells so good. Oh, it smells like fruit juice. Yeah, it does actually. A little of skincare. So here is my face just after getting the facial done. It's very soft. I think it looks clean and feels amazing. This always gets a little flushed, but I think I like a little, good little flush of the skin. It doesn't even blush right now. Glowing, glowing. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that video. Maybe you found out about a new anti-aging treatment that you could include into your regime. Mm -hmm. If you happen to live in Los Angeles, you can come and see Wendy. And I'm gonna put her website down here on the bottom so that you can check her out and you can book an appointment with her through there. Again, okay, make hope sure you're enjoying. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and we'll see you all on the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. <laughs>